Next Week in Wolfboro is underwritten by the Downtown Grill Cafe. The Downtown Grill Cafe is located at 33 Main Street in beautiful Wolfboro, New Hampshire, with a fantastic view of Lake Winnipesaukee and Cape Park. Hours of operations are daily from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about this underwriter, check out the website, www.downtowngrill.cafe. Welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. I'm your host, Will Hunter. We are coming to you over Zoom for Wolfboro Community Television, where I bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Downtown Grill Cafe for underwriting Next Week in Wolfboro. It is there, through their support and yours that programs like ours are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you'd like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569 we also want you to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on Facebook and YouTube. Once you're either logged into Facebook or YouTube, you just search for Wolfbrook Media Television, and you'll find us on next week in Wolfboro. Okay, let's head right over to the train station here for Mr. Rees of the Chamber of Commerce about upcoming programs and events for the week ahead. We're headed over to you, Mr. DeVries. Hi, and welcome to next week in Wolfboro. I'm Mary. I have the great pleasure of sitting outside on a lovely summer day in Wolfboro. It is August and we're moving right along with lots of events coming up. We'll start today by talking about the community bandstand concerts. This summer series continues on Saturday evening, August 7th. The show starts at 7 o'clock and this week it will be the Seldom Playwrights. Turning to Wolfboro. That's in the bandstand, 7 o'clock, August 7th. What else do we have here? Oh, there's an outdoor antique and uh, craft fair at 11 o'clock in the morning till 4 over at the Clark Museum Complex. This is presented by the Wolfboro Historical Society. So have some fun. Go over and see what they have going on there. That's on August the 12th, which is the same day as the Farmer's Market. So you get a two-for-one over at the Clark Museum Complex on August 12th. The Historical Walking Tour, that's a unique opportunity. You visitors or residents are welcome to meet at the former railroad station building. That's this thing right behind me and a uh, representative from the Wolfboro Historical Society will take you on a tour. And that, they'll leave here at 10 in the morning. Again, that's on August 13th. So we're looking ahead a little bit. August 13th, 14th, and 15th is the On the Green Arts and Craft Show number two, two, second one this summer. That is at the Brewster Academy Field on Main Street and they'll be there all three days starting at 10 in the morning each day. We have a continuation of some weekly events to remind you about. The Wright Museum has its lecture series continuing and you can call them at 569-1212 for information on the next topic and to reserve your seat. Same with the New Hampshire Boat Museum. They have a virtual uh, lecture series continuing and you can call them at 569-4554. The Cape Bar Park Band, excuse me, will be playing in the community bandstand every Wednesday evening. So those are just some reminders of ongoing things. There are more. Pick up your copy of the Wolfboro Community Calendar of Events or give us a call at the Chamber of Commerce at 569-2200 and we'll be glad to give you the information. So I'm also sitting here at this piano bench, excuse me, and you can see there's a piano here, left, uh, brightly painted. This is from the Great Waters Music Festival, and they have some partners that help them get these pianos first stored over the cold weather months and then brought out. You'll find them along the community on the sidewalks in different locations, and anyone is welcome to just pull up the bench and play a tune. You do not have to be an expert to play. See? <laughs> All right. So that's what we have for now. And you have a great time. And remember to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. And that's Wolfboro. See you. Thank you, Mr. DeVries. Here's some things I'd like to share with everyone. On Friday, August 6th, Great Waters will feature Justin McKinney at the Castle in the Clouds, Moultonboro, at 7.30 p.m. 
On Saturday, August 7th, the Friends of the Wolfbrook Community Bandstand have announced free Saturday night concerts at the bandstand in Cape Park will take place every Saturday during Saturday night during July and August. These two-hour concerts begin at 7 o'clock p.m. This week, the featured concert will be the Seldom Playwrights Band. The concert is set to begin at 7 o'clock p.m. Bring your lawn chair or blanket. On Tuesday, August 10th, the Wolfer Public Library provides a toddler time story hour at 10.30 a.m. For more information, please call the Children's Librarian, Ms. Genia, 569-2428. Model, yacht, and sailboat regard takes place each Tuesday and Thursday afternoon on Wolfboro's Back Bay. There's good viewing from the Bird's Falls Pathway. Wolfboro Public Library Book Discussion Group will discuss the book, The Brothers of Karmazov by Fyodor Karmazov. The book discussion group meets from 1 p.m. until 2.30 p.m. on the second Tuesday of each month. Also at the Wolfboro Public Library, begin at 2 o'clock p.m. The Reach, Lakes Reach Genealogy Interest Group will continue with their spot on family history sleuths. Zoom classes, please send an email to lakesrgig17 at gmail.com for a Zoom link invitation to join the discussion. Lake Trees and Genealogy Interest Group will meet from 2 o'clock until 3.30 p.m. The Wright Museum Lecture Series continues at 7 o'clock p.m. each Tuesday night. This week's lectures is Catherine Laidnier. The museum asks you to make a reservation by calling 569-1212. On Wednesday, August 11th, the Clark Museum Complex is open every Wednesday through Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. For more information about this awesome historical location right here in Wolfboro, go to the website www.wolfboroughistoricalsociety.org. The Cape Park Community Bandstand is a pickup group, meaning you may bring your instrument and join them on Wednesday evenings at the Cape Park Bandstand at 7 o'clock p.m. If you're not comfortable playing in the band, you may bring your family and friends, a lawn chair, or a blanket, and enjoy the show at 7 o'clock p.m. On Thursday, August 12th, the New Hampshire Boat Museum launches Lake Discovery Family Days on Thursday from 10 a.m. until 12 noon. Families with kids in grades kindergarten through grade 5 may enjoy boating, fishing, lake ecology, visit model, Yachting, watch sailing classes, go on a ride on the Millie B. To learn more about the Boat Museum's website, go to www.nhbm.org backslash lake dash discovery dash summer dash camp. The Wolfboro Public Library provides us preschool story time at 10 30 a.m. For more information, please call the Children's Library and Miss Genie at 569 2428. The Wolfboro Historical Society Vintage Fair will take place at the Clark Museum from 11 a.m. till 4 p.m. The Wolfboro Area's Farmer's Market will be at Clark Park every Thursday afternoon. Hours for the Farmer's Market are 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. They often have fresh meats and vegetables, eggs and other dairy products, music, and much more. This year during the Farmer's Market at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the Wolfboro Public Library's Children's Library and Miss Jean will be hosting a children's story time at Clark Park to participate in the story time. Just check in with Miss Jeannie at the Farmer's Market. The New Hampshire Boat Museum continues its weekly lecture series at 7 o'clock p.m. This week will be a lecture by Arshe Cooper, A Beautiful Thing, The True Story of America's First All-Black High School Rowing Team. For more information, contact the museum at 569-4554. On Friday, August 13th, the On the Green Arts and Crafts Festival starts and continues until August 15th at Brewster Academy at 10 a.m. until 4 o'clock p.m. On Saturday, August 14th, the Village Players will present Laughing Stock at 7 p.m. The Carolyn Ramsey Band performs at Cape Park Bandstand in the Cape Park at 7 o'clock p.m. On Sunday, August 15th, John Butcher 
guitarist will perform at the barn at the Inn on Main starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Dinner seating starts at 5.30 p.m. The New Hampshire Boat Museum continued its lecture series on Thursdays. To learn more about the lecture series, go to www.nhbm.org. Okay, let's send right, right over to the Parks and Recreation Department for an update on upcoming programs and activities. Assistant Recreation Director Bo Betts is at his desk. We'll send over to you, Bo Betts. Hey, Will. Bo here from Wolfboro Parks and Rec. Happy August, everybody. Uh, we're slowly moving into fall. A um, couple weeks left here with programs. Um, we do have some openings in our beginner sailing class that starts on August 8, 16th. Excuse me. So, a couple spots left. It's a great program. If you're interested, definitely check out our website. We would definitely love to fill up those spots. Um, beach passes. We are still doing beach passes. Again, it's by appointment only at this point this summer. We're in the middle of all our programs, so we're running around. We're not always in the office. So it's best to give us a call at 569-5639. Set up a time to get your beach passes. Um, we're going to be manning the beaches through Labor Day, so you're still going to need those beach passes for the next few weeks. Um, so definitely stop by and get those if you haven't already. Moving forward, we're in the middle of our planning, our fall programs. So we're looking to um, have a soccer program that will probably start mid-September. We're still ironing out those details, trying to acquire staff. Um, so please look for those programs and details to come out later on this month. Um, Facebook, our website, definitely a great place to start. Or just give us a call. We'll, we'll do our best to help to answer any of your questions. Um, other than that, um, other fall pr programs hopefully lining up. And our Kingswood Youth Center and Wolfboro Parks and Rec Fall Festival will be coming out soon. That information will be available in the next couple of weeks as well. Like I said last week, we'll hopefully have a traveling barnyard, chili contest, apples, paint a pumpkin, all sorts of different activities for the family. So look for, uh, look to that um, in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a good week. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Bo Betts. And now we hear from Cindy Scott for Wolfboro Public Library Update. Send it over to you, Cindy Scott. Thanks, Will. Coming up at the Wolfboro Public Library on Tuesday, August 10th at 10.30 a.m., there will be a toddler story time. It's for ages infant through three years old, and the story time will be held in the Bradley Room. Also on Tuesday, August 10th at 1 p.m., the second Tuesday book group will be meeting in the Bradley Room to discuss The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. And at 2 p.m., the Lakes Region Genealogy Interest Group will sponsor a virtual Zoom class, Spot on Family History Sleuths. If you want to register this and to get the Zoom invitation, email lakesrgig17 at gmail.com or call DIED at 603-630-8497. On Tuesday, August 12th at 10.30 a.m., there will be a preschool story hour. It's for ages 3 to 6. It will be held in the Bradley Room at the library. At 11.30 on August 12th, the monthly Irish Special Interest Group will hold a virtual meeting. To register and for Zoom invitation information, email genealogysignh at gmail.com. That's genealogysignh at gmail.com. And finally, also on Thursday, August 12th, the Children's Librarian will be doing a story time at 2 p.m. at the Farmer's Market at Clark Park. Back to you, Will. Thank you, Cindy Scott. Justin Marbury is just outside the doors at Calvary Wolfboro to give us an update. We're sent over to you, Pastor Justin. Good morning. Justin Marbury here with Calvary Wolfboro. And just want to tell you a few things that are going on with us as a church. The, the big thing, and um, when you uh, see this video, it, it will be uh, coming up very quickly. Uh, tonight, I think, is, is the, the case that it's Friday the 6th of August. We are having a Church United event that, that Calvary Wolfboro is a part of at Cape Park here in Wolfboro. And I want to make sure that everyone uh, who watches this knows about this. It's 5.30 to 8.30. We'll be gathering 
uh, for fellowship. We'll be gathering to eat together, to, to enjoy uh, Cape Park together as brothers and sisters in Christ, to sing songs of worship, uh, to share the testimony of what God is doing in our lives, and to pray together. So that's uh, Friday, August 6th at 5.30 to 8.30 uh, at Cape Park. Excited to be a part of that as, as our spiritual family joining with others around uh, the, the Lakes region. The, the day, uh, Saturday then, the 7th of August, we have a monthly men's rally. All, all the men of the Wolfboro area, anyone who's hearing this, you're, you're welcome to come. As it is summer, we'll be outside in the tent. The men's rally is just a time for guys to get together, eat together. Um, we'll do a little singing. We'll hear uh, some, uh, some a bit from this, this month, uh, a guy named Jake Nance. Uh, he's a local uh, police officer, actually in Pittsfield. We're hearing from him uh, and, and just hanging out, probably play some cornhole. Again, it's summer in Wolfboro. We need to take advantage and be outside as much as possible. And then uh, beyond that, we have our, our weekly things uh, kind of always going on. Sundays, we're in the tent uh, right over there uh, at 10 a.m. every Sunday. All are welcome for that gathering. Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. We have Summer Life, which is another gathering, a potluck of, of sorts. Uh, another time just to be together, to connect, and to experience the love of Christ together as, as His disciples. Anything beyond that, certainly our app is always a good place to check for uh, the event calendar. You can search for our app in the app stores. Just type in Calvary Wolfboro, one word, and our app will come up. You can be checking that. Our website, calvarywolfboro.org. We also have a weekly update, the CW for Calvary Wolfboro, the CW update that we send out through email every week. That has everything going on as well. And so uh, that's it. It's, it's uh, good to be with you. And thank you for listening to all that's happening with Calvary Wolfboro. And we'll see you next time. Back to the studio. Thank you, Pastor Justin Marbury. And Father Cole is with Deacon Shelley Ferrero, Mary Beth Waldlinger, and Dorothy Hammond to bring us an update from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church. Hello, Father Cole and friends. We're sending it over to you. Oh, hi, Will. Here we are again at St. Catherine Drexel for this week at, at our, our parish, our church. And uh, I'm here with uh, Deacon Charlie Ferraro, uh, Mary Beth Wadwinger from Wolfboro, and of course, Gertrude Hammond, who is in charge of our, our religious formation and, and youth. Uh, and just a few things uh, this Sunday, the 8th, we're having our August. Nine and Dine at Kingswood Golf Club. I'm happy to tell you that we're already filled. We have 24 golfers. We can only take uh, uh, six foursomes, but it's going so well. We tee off at 2 o'clock and then we come in and have dinner and people stay and talk. And it's, it's just beautiful to see people not wanting to go home. They just want to stay and, and, and enjoy each other's company. So that's happening this weekend. And of course, the regular Mass is Saturday 4, and then the Sunday morning Mass is for the early birds, 7 o'clock, 8.30, and 10.30. So we invite you to come into the church, or you can stay outside. Uh, we have the speakers outside and distribute communion outside on the patio as well. So let me turn it over now to Deacon Charlie, who is from Boston originally, right? I'm from Boston, Father. I grew up in Cambridge. I want to talk about our sister parish, St. Catherine Drexel in Roxbury. Okay. We have a lot of members here in our parish. For instance, our photographer, Mary Ann, who were part of that parish. Father Pratt has had a long relationship with a number of us. Uh, I went to school in Dorchester and I got to know them. Father Pratt also married my sister's daughter. So we have a long-term relationship with them, and many other par parishioners do. And they're right now have a uh, new program going on in Roxbury where they want to invest in that community and build it up. And so Father Pratt's current parish is going to be eliminated, that site, because they're going to build on that site. So he's made a proposal with the uh, city of Boston to move his parish to where they're putting up some high-rises. 
but he's come up with a terrific idea. What he wants to do is have his parish on the ground floor with glass so you can see right into the church, and above it would be affordable housing. So in our parish hall here in the sanctuary, uh, the vestibule here, we have two forms. One is a description of the parish, of what he's doing, so you can find out about it. And the other is a form that we are choosing to sign and support. So many of us as ex-parishioners or ex-relationships with him, we want to show our support and send this into the city of Boston, recommending this project. Uh, I have to tell you, as someone who's been involved quite a bit in the city of Boston and affordable housing, when I review this project, I, I have to tell you, they really have done a thorough job at putting this together. And the way it's going to integrate the new construction of high rises and office buildings with affordable housing, it reminds me of, uh, of the uh, city of Boston where they have the uh, St. Anthony's uh, uh, Chapel right in the city, surrounded by all the commercial going on that happened that day, every day. Uh, and when I was working in the city, it's so nice to be able to have a church you could go to at lunch. This is what he's creating in Roxbury. So we ask you if you uh, would come and fill these forms out for us so that we can send them in and show our support for our sister parish. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Deacon Charles. You're welcome. Thank you. So, Gertrude and Mary Ann, please. Mary Beth, good morning, Father Cole. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, yeah. Will. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us to be with you this morning, Father Cole, Deacon Charlie. Mary Beth, Father, and I are here this morning imagining for faith formation that will begin hopefully in September. Uh, we're, we're imagining including four and five-year-olds on Sunday mornings in our faith formation program. This will be the first time on Sunday mornings we'll be, we'll be doing that. And we're also gearing up the lock-ins will return. I have a team of young 20-something men, three of them so far, uh, along with some adults who are preparing for the lock-ins, which will begin in September. So I hope you'll go to our St. Catherine Drexel website in about a week or so and look for all of that information and consider joining us at St. Catherine Drexel Parish. The lock-ins especially are open to youth anywhere in the community. You do not have to be part of the parish. And of course, Mary Beth, who is imagining the four and five-year-olds with me this morning, she's currently doing, and or going to begin, Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, which is an experiential form of formation in faith. So we're really excited about this. Thanks, Mary Beth. Thank you, Paul Cole. Okay. So we're getting ready to, to roll here in September? We are getting ready to roll. We're very excited. Some okay. new things coming. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for attention and for listening and uh, know that you're always welcome here. The church is open every day from uh, 7 o'clock in the morning until noon so you can come and pray in the church every day. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thank you Father Cole, Mary Beth Wadlinger, Dorothy Hammond and Deacon Charlie. And thank you for tuning into our weekly program. Remember there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you'd like to run an event to our program, please contact Wolfbrook Main Tolan Station at 569-0219 or send an email to wctv25 at gmail.com. We hope to see you around about and look forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I am Will Hunter, Wolfbrook Community Television, bringing your community to view.